Hey, it's Gay Cat again. Uh, so <laughs> Mondays suck. Just to let you know. Um, apart from sleeping most of the day away yesterday, I do feel ten times better. Uh, definitely the nose and the pressure is okay. Um, wasn't too keen on getting up this morning because I thought I had the day off today, uh, which obviously I didn't because I got a message from, um, from work saying that somebody didn't come in. So I had to get out of my warm bed, put on my clothes and go to work. Um, but before I went to work, I had a text message. Um, nothing but bullshit. Um, someone really close basically just messaged me today saying that um, apparently I wasn't um, worth or deserving to have a family um, of my own. And... If you follow my vlogs, like some of you do, uh, many of you know that I have lost a lot. Um, my mom, my son, and all of that stuff. My mom was awesome. Um, and ever since losing my son, you know, the topic of having a family is very near. It's not necessarily a sore spot. But it's something that I really, really want. And because of the holidays coming up and everything, I realize that I don't have family. Um, if there's any indication of Thanksgiving, you know, I don't really have, you know, an actual family. So, you know, the people that I pick to choose to talk to are my family. You know, if I reach out to you and I give, well, that's just me. Um, I don't expect anything from anybody. Um, so with that text message, that kind of, uh, brought a whole shitload of attitude. Not only am I getting over this crappy sinus infection, but I also had to listen or read that. And then I had a phone call um, yesterday. Um, and again, it was all from the same people. Um, and basically saying, well, you don't deserve having a family and stuff like that. I deserve a lot. Basically respect. And like I said, going into work today was, uh, it was not, <laughs> I did not want to people at all. Uh, mainly just getting over this uh, sinus infection. It's like pulling down to my eardrum and... You know, half the time I'm like, huh? But <laughs> so uh, to top it all off, I had to deal with a very nasty bully of a Karen today. And um, usually I can take bullying because I grew up with it because of Bell's palsy and all of that stuff. But to have a grown woman come into work and expect me to have the same grace and respect that clearly she doesn't possess at all. That takes skill because she got to the point where I just, halfway through her order, I just didn't, I didn't finish her uh, sandwiches. Uh, I had my coworker do it because it was that bad. Not only did she misgender me and misunderstood what I was saying. Um, yeah, she basically was like, oh, before we start, are you? And she looked me up and down. And I was like, if you are implying 
that um, whether I'm a woman or a guy, you and I have the same anatomy. We have the same parts. That stopped her for like two seconds. And then uh, mainly after that, she asked me, uh, she said, oh, oh, it was because of your voice. Dude, for that reason alone, I was like, ma'am, I have just gotten done with a sinus infection. I'm sorry if I sound like a dude to you. Okay? I'm sorry. But it's not appropriate to, and it doesn't feel comfortable having someone question your anatomy because of somebody being sick. Okay? I didn't say all of that. I was a little bit nicer. Not much. So, even then, she went a step further. Just when I thought that was all done, she went a step further and asked me, oh, is that why your face, it, you know, is that why your eye is small and, uh, and you're swollen? First of all, my face is still a little swollen, but it's not because of that. And I said, I'm sorry, ma'am, but I have Bell's palsy. I've had it all my life and no, my face isn't because of the sinus infection. Yeah, she didn't. Yeah, that wasn't to her liking. And she kept, she continued to belittle me. And that's when I stopped making her sandwiches. I literally uh, put down, I literally took off my gloves, backed up, looked at my coworker, and I was like, can you finish her out? I'm sorry. I, I, and the lady goes, oh, I'm sorry, you know, oh, I'm so sorry. No, bitch, you already done and pissed me off. I'm just going to remove myself. And so my, luckily I had done most of the sandwiches. I just didn't, uh, wrap them up. I was so irritated by that, um, you know, by her attitude and then uh, my co-worker was like, you know what, I'll wrap them up, just going back, take a deep breath. I did one step further, went to the bathroom, and screamed my head off. <laughs> Little did I know, the bitch heard me scream. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, while I was screaming in the bathroom, cussing up a storm because I couldn't do it in front of her... <laughs> <laughs> Karen decided that uh she was going to ask my coworker <laughs> uh is she okay and she's like yeah better believe uh you should be thankful that she's not saying any of that shit to you <laughs> and the lady kept on saying i'm sorry and uh after faking an apology. She's like, oh, well, she probably deserved it. Yeah. Guess who's not allowed to come back to my store anymore? <laughs> so, yeah, that was my day. I'm finally home. And I took a shower. I feel awesome. But, you know, I just realized that I'm so glad that I am not some of these women. <laughs> I actually like myself. Um, but best believe the next freaking person who is going to be so fucked up and tell me uh, who I am, what I am, and what who I need to be, <laughs> this, <laughs> you're not going to like. So, yeah. So that was my day. I'm just going to call this the un- the crappiest Monday ever, probably. The crappy Monday rant. Yeah, that's it. So I will see you guys in the next vlog. Hopefully I've had a better day.